Hello, it's your favorite asshole in the whole wide world, Brennan Burns. And in this video, I'm going to show you two of the best of Trauma Dance, Volumes 1 and 2. I don't own uh, Volumes of 3 and 4. I think there were 3 and 4 volumes. I mean, I know 1 and 2. I just own these two right now. Troma Dance, of course, um... It's where the fans of Troma make films of their own. If you you know what Troma, the, the movie company of Troma, you know movies like The Toxic Avenger. They make uh, Class of Newcomb High and all those what the f movies. But uh, these are just sh shorts, uh, movie shorts that they showed at the Independence or their own Independent Film Festival from the fans who wanted to make their own movies and select them into the Troma Festival. Troma Dance is the first film festival wholeheartedly devoted to filmmakers and fans unlike other film festivals. Troma Dance does not charge film fake does not charge filmmakers to submit their, their films submit their films. Entrance to all screeners screenings is free and open to the public. Also there are no VIP reservations or Prefertical, prefertical, whatever, treatment regarding films, panels, or parties of any kind given the authorities, well not authorities, I'm sorry, the organizers, organizers of Trauma Dance believe films are meant to be seen, especially when it comes to new filmmakers, art, and all its forms is for the people. The DVD contains films made by new filmmakers, films that breathe raw talent. And that were made without the backing or the influence of big studios. Art is for the people, and the Trauma Dance Film Festival puts it right back where it belongs. From your favorite director, Lloyd Kaufman. That's what he says on the back. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't seen, I only own the first two volumes, like I said, but I haven't seen all the shorts because, you know, I'm a picky person, but uh, the ones I have seen, uh, that zit lover about the guy who puts zits out no no he puts cheese all over his face because he, he loves getting zits by the cheese and one day something uh goes horribly wrong and he turns into a monster and somebody i think uh the clerk at this little convenience store has to stop him yeah, that's a good short i heard that was cool dooder's favorite short too hr puking shit oh yeah that's about this guy Whose girlfriend leaves him, and a stoner guy, and uh, well, he tries to drink himself to death, but then he pukes. He pukes uh, when he throws up. His his barf turns into like a a French uh, puppet or whatever. That's so hilarious. Let's see. Please kill Mister uh, Kinski, Roman Kinski. What was his name again? Uh, Klaus Kinski, I'm sorry. It's about the director, uh, David, uh, I can't pronounce his last name, but, uh, David Schutzmuller, or Sch Schutzmuller, I'll call him Schutzmuller. David Schutzmuller, short film on working with one of the most talented and difficult actors ever, Klaus Kinski. Yeah, wasn't that, uh, I know... Wasn't that the movie, uh, Cross Space, 1985? I could be confused, but I remember when the director was talking about he couldn't work with Klaus Kinski. What else? What else was in here I'm trying to think? My favorite on here, uh, was, uh... And what was the short? I forget his name right now. Or the short's name. Now, let me think. I'm gonna think it's... I'm sorry, man. I said my favorite short on here was uh, the Spanish Fly, about the you know undercover agent that doesn't really look like an agent. Uh, agent, I'm sorry. And this big guy with a little goatee wants him to steal something. I can't remember, but uh, this Spanish Fly. At first, he gets tricked by a uh, a girl, one of the his uh, the boss's the secret agents. And, you know, he finds out that the girl, he knows about the 
girl and this robot this robot guy um he 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 fights the Spanish fry and he throws the robot guy in the I mean in the pool and he has this you know the stereotypical robot voice oh I'm in the water it's so hilarious and I love the music in Spanish fry at the end he has to save his daughter from the big corrupt guy and with his sidekick and only one scene a masked wrestler wrestler yeah the masked wrestler I forget the character's name but uh. I don't know if this was um if they were met skin they were Hispanic or no but Mick Foley's in one of them I didn't see that one with Dead Beats also has I forget the name of this uh, short um about it was a uh, about the he used the uh, dolls or you know Barbie dolls to tell about the story of the serial killer Richard Chase it was a good that was a good short too. What else? Yeah, there was a dinner party that it was really shot on this weird video camera, but well, not really weird, but to me it was weird. But that's just me. About this guy who's hosting a dinner party, and he is just so he you know he he really doesn't want to ruin everything. But when everything goes wrong, he hurts himself very badly. Like when he goes to the bathroom, he uh, lights himself, burns himself with a lighter, and uh, you know just hurts himself. It is so weird and hilarious. I love that short. I'm trying to think what else was on here. I didn't see all of them, but yeah, that was a, that was a hairy knuckle of the Spanish fry. I I haven't seen this in a while, so that's why I couldn't remember. They had some good shorts in the first one. This two I also like as well. My favorite one here, I think I'll guess uh, thirty minutes or less. It's about um. The pizza delivery boy who works there is uh, he works at, at this Italian stereotypic Italian pizza pizza place, and he has to deliver pizza to well, first these two redneck couple uh, who fights and he tries to be a you know a marriage counselor or whatever and uh, later on he gets pulled over by the police and because he's not black they let him go I know that's <laughs> Sorry. later on uh, he goes to this. Mansion, and they're trying to bring back the zombie Walt Disney to take over the world. And his boss was in on it, but um, he saves his girlfriend. Um, uh, he is a white girl, but she since thought she was black, and it is hilarious. Uh, 30 minutes or less. There's one on here that I didn't see, it's called Mondo Ford about director Scott Calico's film. Presents to solve the assassination of President Kennedy, pointing the fingers at first President Gerald Ford, as well as Bigfoot, and you know other weird sus suspects. I haven't really seen that one, but I gotta see that one day. Oh yeah, they had that uh, in the Easter egg, they, a commercial about the Arrowhead beer. That was hilarious. I, I like that. We also had undisciplined about this guy who is obsessed with this girl who wants to be disciplined. It's thinking, I've been bad, I've been bad, I've been bad. It's not really a big short. It's very short, but it's a good little movie. Tasty. I don't remember if I saw that one or not. I can't remember. Yeah, that's about it. There was one I forget the title about this little boy who was being bad and her, and her mother and his mother sends him to bed. You could go straight to bed, young man, and he. And she calls this uh, weird guy to take him away to a strange place for his punishment. But it was all a dream. He wakes up, but he still has a... He still gets paranoid about that dream. I like how they shot that uh, short. You can tell... When you see the mother and the boy, it's just... Damn, their shadows. You really don't see their faces at the beginning. Well, mostly the mother. But it was still a great, great short. I, I love this. I love it so good. What was the other feature? Oh, yeah, there was the one about a, a fetus purse that at what first the main lady doesn't like, but at the end of the movie, she says, ah, the hell with it. I'll screw it. I'll, I'll, I'll get the fetus purse or whatever. But anyway, that's it. I mean, I don't remember the other shorts on here, but I, I guarantee you they're great. If you're a trauma fan like I am, please get this best of Trauma Dance Volume 1 and Volume 2. They give independent films back to the people, according to Lloyd Kaufman.
But anyway. I don't own volume three volumes three and four, but I, what I do remember uh, Giuseppe Andrews, you know he who did directed the Trauma no not Trauma uh, Trailer Town, yeah he, he did Trailer Town uh Period Peace and Touch Me in the Morning. He also directed a short in Trauma Dances Volume Four called Dribble about the two uh, dirty basketball players. I haven't seen that one. But anyway, I'm about to end this video and please subscribe to my channel. You don't have to like me. You don't have to respect me. Just subscribe to my channel and check out the best of Trauma Dances Volume 1 and Volume 2 and Volumes 3 and 4. I don't know. Like I said, I don't own them, but check them out anyway. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Have a good night. And please follow me on Twitter. My Twitter, Twitter account is Gizmo Burns.